site where we're going to be there for two nights. We're going to have water hookup and electrical hookup, right? But no sewer hookup. That's my understanding. So there's a London Bridge in Arizona? So London Bridge is falling down. Bought London Bridge what? and they moved it over here. Wait, the real London Bridge? The real London Bridge. They purchased it for like 4.1 million or something like that. What? And they Wasn't installed it? it. All the original rocks and stones. Is that why it was falling down? Because they were carrying apart to bring it over here? Down, and so then we bought it and they installed it here. What? <laughs> This will be our first state park. Yep. We are covering the gambit on this trip. Oh boy. Talk about jam-packing food. <laughs> <in Japan. laughs> hey, but that is so much food for thought. Oh, I've learned so much. Right, we were at a national park, a BLM. This is now our state park. And they have showers. These things should be here. Yeah, they have showers and restrooms. And oh, and they each have a pit and a, a bench, like at the national park. You can swim right over there. 26 nice. right here. Right oh, it's right like a beach, beach with sand. Oh, yep. I see. This is nice. I'm happy to be here for two days. Yep, me too. This is the first time we got to a site in the day. Yeah. I all know. other sites it was at nighttime because we were we driving all day. We finally did it. Good job for us. All right. So we're here at the Arizona State Park, and the sun has just set. And it's absolutely beautiful. I gotta say, I think this is our favorite spot so far on our trip. It's so nice and open here and beautiful. So we've been getting a lot of bugs in here. It's now nighttime, so all the bugs are swarming around. And Kevin turned on the fantastic fan up there. It's sucking air out, so it's capturing all the bugs up there. And he said he heard that that was something you could do to get the bugs, and it's working really good. So I have an absolutely gorgeous view from my office here as I'm editing videos in the back of our RV. I've converted the bed into a table. So we're here having our last bonfire. It's Friday night. It's very peaceful. Yep. Nice and big. These logs are awesome. One piece of log, like hours of fire. But it really is like at least an hour and a half. Well, I like to burn them fairly quick because I like kind of a big fire. It's awesome. There's like one one log to have a whole fire. <laughs> it like flakes up. It must be like, I don't know if it's paper flakes or treated wood. It's pretty epic. You just, you can just pick off little bits as it burns. The, the chunks start their own, they get on fire, they fall off, and they actually like make the fire bigger. It's, it's crazy. Like, it, it's very little work to maintain. And there's very little ash left. We're gonna have some s'mores. Be our last, uh, be our last fire night. Today was both of our favorite day of the whole trip. Yeah. Well, it was like it was just a culmination of everything. It was a peaceful day. It wasn't super hot. Today was probably the best weather of all the days. Yeah, it wasn't too hot and it wasn't too cold. And it was a nice breeze. We didn't have to run the air conditioner all day. Actually, we didn't even turn it on today. We also got one of those like folding reflective uh, windshield uh, block the sun kind of things. It did wonders for cutting out the heat um, from from coming in the front. I mean, it, it really made a big difference. 
We even got to go into the lake at the end of the day. We were able to get in, just go stand in the lake a little bit and enjoy it and uh, watch the sunset. Then we got to take some showers, nice hot showers. The camp yeah. Night. That was pretty cool. Yeah, they had nice showers here. But you didn't have to pay for them. But you didn't like have to our pay last for them. place, it was um, at the Grand Canyon site. It was $2 for, for eight, eight minutes. minutes. So the way it works with RVing at the Grand Canyon is that there's various campgrounds. There's like Mather Campground, there's another one that's like open for half a year. There's another one up in Desert View. And then there's like two or three RV parks in the main city, like within maybe like 15 minute drive of the Grand Canyon National Park. But then you can also do dispersed camping as long as you're within half a mile from any of the main roads, and there's a bunch of side roads that are within a mile of, of the national park, and there's a, there's a lot of places you can do dry camping and dispersed camping for free. So I could see people, you know, getting a national park pass, going and do dis, doing their dispersed camping close to the national park in the BLM land in the national forest. It's actually, that's what it's called, the, the, the Kaibab National Forest. And then you just go in with your your park pass, you get in for free, but you go to the dump station, and you get the potable water, and you can get you know, clean your tanks, uh, do your laundry, take a shower for two dollars for eight minutes. So I could see like if you're like really on a budget, RVing on mm -hmm. a budget, that could be a really viable solution for people, you know, dry camping. It's beautiful out in the national forest yeah. because it's like, it's just it's trees. It really is a forest. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I didn't expect there to be so much green yeah. around the Grand Canyon. I hope that can encourage some people to like try to make a trip to the Grand Canyon. There's, Highly uh, recommend it. A whole bunch of dispersed, uh, dispersed camping uh, options. What I really have enjoyed about our trip is how almost every day we've had a different, very different view from the back of <laughs> the RV. Yeah. We went from having the stratosphere in the back. <laughs> uh, we're at the Circus Circus uh, RV Park. And then the next one is, the view is trees. We pulled into <coughs> Mather Campground in the Grand Canyon and stayed there for two and a half days. And then yesterday and today we have a beautiful lake. We have Lake Havasu as our backdrop. And I have to say Grand Canyon was amazing, but it's a national park, so like you're dealing with dry camping. There's no hookups at all. There's just a a po like a potable water and a dump station at the at the camp entrance so I would say like that was the most difficult camping but then we had like yeah. the RV park at Circus Circus that had full hookups even with sewer but it was like a parking lot but here it's so it's felt really nice having the lake because it just feels very open I enjoyed the forest having all the trees it was beautiful, but you still feel more enclosed because there's always like trees right around you. I just kind of really like the feeling of there's a huge lake and it's just very open. And we're at the and it's a, we're at the state park, so we have uh, water and power mm -hmm. at uh, at our campsite. We're probably 50 to 100 yards from the water from a beach that we can play on. So Kevin makes a s'more and then he continues toasting. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta have it fully melted. The chocolate needs to be <laughs> dribbling out of it. <laughs> and the graham crackers need to be a little bit toasted. This is where you put the art into the s'more. That's right. He is a professional s'more maker. Mm -hmm.